You're now watching Sports Better's Paradise on the Bet Rivers Network. All right, Jimmy, I'm talking some college baseball, and you know, a, a lot, we are a tournament where a lot of the uh, the seedings hold, the chalk holds. Uh, there were some upsets, but there were no bigger upsets, and this one cost us uh, in Fayetteville, Arkansas. You pitch down, you survive a close game in the one four matchup, and Hagan Smith, who's been the best pitcher in college baseball, is cruising along, has a two to nothing lead, and then. The Kansas State Wildcats, six of the first seven up in that lineup, reach and score. And that was it. And that was it. Uh, capped off by a three-run homer uh, by Kansas State. So that was uh, tough. And, and think about it. So we had Arkansas to win the regional at minus 190. In that game, Arkansas and Hagan Smith were minus 360 in that game alone. Thinking to get value sometimes, but it just doesn't work out. Uh, we did hit a, a few of those, and let's get to the super regional matchups. Here it is, the ACC and the SEC. Uh, four SEC super regional hosts, four uh, a a ACC super regional hosts. So, and you had a couple of, uh, and you had an ACC SEC uh, close one on Monday night with uh, LSU and North Carolina. Uh, Georgia against NC State. Uh, Georgia was given uh, a couple of tough games, including a uh, Georgia Tech, who barely got into the tournament, and uh, and Georgia held on. They tied it in the ninth uh, with a home run and won it in the tenth. But NC State is, held serve as well, taking care of South Carolina. We had that one, but uh, I like NC State plus a dollar ten uh, on this one. Looking for, you know, some of these are kind of unbettable. I mean, you know, Tennessee at minus uh, 825. I mean, come on. That's not even worth throwing in uh, a parlay, uh, really. So that's kind of an unbettable one. But what I did see is, again, I think NC State's got a shot at plus money at plus 110. Another one that I like is uh, from a small uh, dog to a small favorite, and that is Kentucky and Oregon State. Kentucky at minus 134 at Bet Rivers right now. They seem like they're prime. I did pick Indiana State to upset uh, them in that regional, but it wasn't so much that they did it with we know what they've done all year. And that's with their bats and out slugging people. And that's some really strong pitching performances uh, in Lexington and the regional. They should be even uh, better. Oregon State, three national championships. They know how to get it done, but Pat Casey is gone. And, you know, just, I don't know, the, the, the Pac-12 is not what, you know, not not quite as strong. Uh, the regular season in a tournament champion, Arizona, who hosted, is already out of it. I know Oregon got some pitching uh, in their regional, and uh, they advanced to College Station. But uh, I'm, I'm kind of fading these two Pac-12 uh, teams left, Oregon and Oregon State. I like Kentucky, minus 134 there. So I'm trying to create ways, uh, some other ways, that to find some – you know, some action, like, you know, the Tennessee thing. I think Tennessee, the only way you can bet them right now is bet them to win the whole thing. It's not a great price, but this is – they should have no problem going through Evansville, the number one overall seed against a four seed in the tournament. Keep in mind, Evansville got a little bit experienced guys. Got a lot of four- and five-year guys on that team. And so just, you know, not, not – not, don't overdo it. Don't just think – you just – the risk is not worth the reward in throwing Tennessee into a parlay. But get them to Omaha – and with uh, with the current odds, I think it's uh, worth it. They are my clear favorite to be the first uh, overall number one seed to win the whole thing since 1999 when Miami did against uh, Florida State. So I'm kind of piecing together some favorites. So A&M, minus 400, can't bet it in, but I'm going to put it into a parlay. I think they've got pitching and hitting depth at home. They got over their big hump game. That was a marble game on Saturday night, the extra inning game against their in-state rival, Texas. And the Texas starter was having a fantastic game. They matched it and then broke through to uh, walk it off in late in that game. So Oregon, I think, comes in a little weak. I think A&M should have no problem there. Can't bet it as a single bet, so let's find another one. Another one, our pick last week at 20-1 to 1 on the future bet, and that's Florida State. Love their coach. He knows how to get it done. He beat one of the best teams, uh, regular season teams ever in Tennessee when he took his Notre Dame team to Knoxville and knocked them out in the Super Regional. Now he's got Florida State. They took care of business, did not drop a game in Tallahassee, and now they have UConn, a three seed, 
coming in. 335, we're going to put those two together. Now, by themselves, it's minus 159. What we're going to release later in the uh, in the week also is a super regional uh, parlay special. I'm going to add Kentucky. So we're key in Kentucky. Taking Kentucky in a single bet, minus 134, and then adding them to this A&M Florida State. A&M Florida State, you're laying a little over 150 at Bet Rivers right now. You add Kentucky to it, you're almost getting two to one on that return. So A&M, Florida State, Kentucky, I really like them. Those are on the favorite side. I do have three dogs that I think definitely have a chance. Impress K-State. You go through Baum Stadium in Fayetteville, Arkansas, you beat, again, Hagen Smith had better numbers than Paul Skeens did last year. Enough said, and they beat him. They could go to Charlottesville uh, and win. That's a, uh, Virginia's got a coach who's got a national championship under his belt. I get it. But Kansas State at plus 190 has got a shot. Another one, and it's not so much their seeding because I didn't see a whole lot of this team. But just this past weekend, I thought West Virginia was clean, clean, clean. They impressed me how easily they advanced through the regional. The North Carolina is minus 250. Did they have their scare? They were down... Two more outs, and they're home against LSU. They tied it up uh, with uh, one out in the ninth inning and then won it in the 10th against uh, LSU in the do-or-die game. 250 plus 190. West Virginia, I think, has a shot at plus 190 in that one. And then Florida, who I did not like, but here they are still. And LSU and Florida, the two finalists from last year, and that took a third and deciding game. Uh, up in Omaha for LSU to beat Florida. But both of them had similar seasons. Uh, both were on the bubble. LSU had a much better Hoover in the SEC tournament than Florida did. Florida needed that two out of three ser- uh, win, series win in Athens to got to have a winning record to get in that large bid. And they got there at large bid. LSU needed that s- season-ending sweep of, uh, of uh, Ole Miss to uh, – to, to uh, you know, uh, get uh, in bubble position, and then they won three more in a row in uh, in uh, in uh, in Hoover before they uh, before they lost that one in the championship to Tennessee. But both were there. I just thought that North Carolina was a little bit better than Oklahoma State. Now Florida goes to Clemson. So Clemson, everything last year where they – man, that's a tough draw to get Tennessee into the regional. Their national seed, they were the hottest team in the country, and Tennessee beat them in that third and deciding game. This year, they kind of caught some breaks. The number two seed got beat early, and they just took care of business, but it wasn't the toughest competition in the world. Now they, they're they hosting a number two seed in, in Florida. So Oklahoma State doesn't come there. So things are kind of setting up for Clemson a little bit. But at that price, I think it's a little bit too much. Give me the Gators plus 160. Caglione got uh, touched up. Four home runs and a fifth home run got called back for fans' interference. That was it. All solo shots uh, in Stillwater. But Florida took care of business and beat or uh, uh, Oklahoma State twice. Sunday, coming out of the loser's bracket, and then do, the do-or-die game. I think plus 160 is uh, worth a swing there. So K-State, West Virginia, and Florida – or you three dogs that have a shot there. As far as winning the whole thing in the future odds, like we said, we gave out Florida State last week at 20 to 1. I saw anywhere from 7 to 14 to 1 uh, earlier this week. They got a favorable draw. Hey, just get them to Omaha and we'll see what can happen there. So we're comfortable with that. One that we gave back uh, a while ago, about a month ago, was Wake Forest after them sweeping Clemson. Swept Clemson and beat them bad uh, to that weekend. They're out. Who would imagine two top 10 projected picks in the upcoming MLB draft were facing off in a loser's bracket game on Saturday afternoon. Wake Forest came up with five in the top of the ninth to take a two-run lead and then gave up three in the bottom of the ninth for East Carolina to take that one. So that's it for the Super Regional Round. We'll be back next week. We'll have maybe some uh, some individual game uh, picks and also maybe some adjusted uh, future odds as well. I'm Jimmy Ott for the Sports Better Paradise talking some college baseball with you right here on the Bet Rivers Network.